Arduino for Beginners, Episode 23. How to display multiple sensor readings on an Android device. Now for this tutorial, I'm just simply using a DHT11 temp and humidity sensor. So we will only be displaying the temp and humidity, which are two readings. But um, you can display as many readings as you want um, with how I'm going to show you to do this. It's just simply I have it set up for just two readings coming in, but you could have dozens. And um, it's a little tricky if you've never done this before, but I have found an easy way to do this. It simplifies it. Um, so um, if you uh, would like to see how to set up uh, the circuit I have here with the DHT11 and uh, the HCL6 Bluetooth module and stuff, just look in the description below. You'll find a link to the website. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, and you'll find the, the schematic of how to hook this up. Also, I did a video um, a couple episodes back on how to set this up. So I'll have a link on there as well if you want to try this yourself. And the app, too, I will have that available if you want to download it. Instead of, instead of uh, making your own, you just want to try it out, you can download. I will make it available. That uh, also will be on the website. So well, let me just demonstrate it working here, and then we'll go over to the computer, and we'll take a look at the Arduino code on how we do this, and then we'll take a quick look at the um, the MIT App Inventor, which is how I put this together. So if you want to modify it and make your own, you can go ahead and do that then. So let's just connect, and then we select our Bluetooth device. And it's connecting. Hopefully it connects up. There we go. Once in a great while when you have these super close like I have here, sometimes you get a glitch. Uh, usually like if you have it at least a foot away, I notice I don't have any problems. But sometimes when they're real super close together like this, I don't it just maybe it's overpowering or whatever sometimes it will glitch now you can see here is I have a disconnect button um, so if we want to close this out you hit that and what it does is it disconnects from the HCL6 Bluetooth module and then exits the application and then of course you can see our temperature it is 12 degrees Celsius in here and our humidity is 22 percent now like I said if you um, maybe you had an LDR hooked up on here as well a uh, light dependent resistor you could you know take readings of how bright it is outside maybe you have a, a rain gauge hooked up to it and you want to know how you could show in inches or centimeters how much rain you had whatever um, kind of data that you want to display coming from a Arduino to Android this is going to show you how to do that um, if you're just doing one sensor reading or one reading coming in you wouldn't have to go to all this um, it's just when you're doing multiples and we're sending all these readings at once and then we have to um, set it up so that the, uh, the Android app actually can pull them apart and figure out well okay this number is for the, the temperature this number is humidity and then however many many readings you have coming in all right well like I said Look in the description below, you'll find a link and get the, uh, the schematic for this. Uh, there will be a link to where to get the HCL6s and DHD11s if you're wanting to build this yourself and all that. Plus, um, I'll have a link on there where you can download the app. Otherwise, if um, you want to design this yourself, just follow along. I'll have an actual version of the blocks. And yeah, look, it does that. I'm being super close. It glitched out. Uh, when I have these apart, it generally doesn't do that. So I'm just going to... In that all right well I'm gonna um, fire the computer up and uh, we'll bring up we'll take a look at the um, the sketch for the Arduino board first and then we'll go over and look at the um, MIT app inventor app and how to put that together so all right I'll catch you at the computer in just a second okay I have the Arduino IDE opened up here um, and well to start with um, and most of the we're just going to skip go through super quick but um for using the dht11 and we're just including the library setting what pen it's on and we're starting our serial beginner 
just going to move past that because what we need to um, go over in this is how we are sending the multiple readings to the Android device. And then uh, when we get over to the MIT App Inventor, I'll show you how we're going to take and pull this back apart. So, of course, after we do our, our read of the temperature and humidity, what we're doing is we're doing a serial dot print, then we're printing the value that we read from the temperature. Um, then I'm doing a serial print with a space and a C for Celsius. You don't have to have that. It don't matter. You could actually put the C in the app itself, so it's always displayed. But what we have here, the next line, serial dot print, and you want to pick a character that you are not going to be using with anywhere else in the sketch. Anywhere. Now, what I'm using here, um, above your inner enter key, there's the forward slash. And then if you hold down the shift, it gives you this straight up and down little line thing. It kind of looks like an L, but it's not an L. I am using that character. And that's the divider, because then next what we're doing is we're doing a serial dot print, we're doing the humidity. And then um, to end it up, because um, this is the last value, we're doing a percentage, but we're doing a serial dot print line. Now, if you had another value after that, after the humidity you wanted, well, you wouldn't have a print line, you'd have print. And then after, you know, the percentage symbol here in the next line, you do another serial dot print and you'd put this character in. You use this character between every sensor reading. And then your very last line, you do a serial dot print line. Now, when we get over to the app here in just a moment, I'm going to show you because we're going to use this character to split everything that was sent. We're going to use that to split it apart and then display it in the appropriate places. Now, just remember, the, the first value you send, um, when we get over to the app, I mean, it's going to store it in um, a spot. It's going to be the first, and then your next one's going to be the second, and then so on and so on. So just remember what order you put them in. So when you get to the app, you know which one is going to be displayed for what value. All right, I hope that made sense to you. I really do. Um, everything else on here, I mean, this all had to do with setting up the DHT11. If you're interested in that, go to the website and you'll find a link to the previous videos on how to set this up and use it. So, all right, well, let's go over to the MIT App Inventor and take a look at now how we split, pull this all apart and make it work. Okay, I have MIT. App Inventor opened up here. Now I'm going to kind of go through this a little quick is like I did along with the last um, we we're looking at the sketch on how to set this up. Um, primarily we are focusing on how we're doing the sensor readings. So what I have here is I just have a, a connect um, that's a label and I have a disconnect button and then I have sensor readings down here. We, it's not a scrollable app, so you can't see the other ones, but they're down there. But I'm just going to skip through all that. If you don't know how to set up the Bluetooth, connect, all that, check out my other videos. I do go through uh, how to do this. Um, just, once again, look in the description below. You'll find a link to the website, and I'll make sure on this project's page, I'll put all the information for everything on there, links and this and that. So... All right, so we're going to just go over to the blocks, and we're just going to skip by all of this. But what we want to look at is this. This is how we are actually bringing these readings in and splitting them apart. What we are doing is we are using a clock. So in your designer, you got to drag a clock in. Actually, I'll go back and show you. Um, there's the clock right there it's in. I have this set um, to fire every two seconds. And in the uh, Arduino sketch, I have it um, to send the data every five seconds. You want the, this to check more often than the data is being sent. Otherwise, you're going to start getting some errors. So just remember that. I found a good refresh you know, rate um, 
five seconds for the Arduino sketch and two seconds for the app works good. But you can change that if you want right there. You just click on the clock and change that. So back to the blocks. What we are doing is we are using a uh, global, initializing a global um, variable and making a list. And um, that is how we are pulling the readings in. So what it does when the clock timer fires, it's checking if the Bluetooth is connected. And if it's not, it's not going to do this. Otherwise, the app will glitch out. Then if there are bytes available to receive, which means it's greater than zero, and what we're doing is we're setting those, those, um, this list that we created here. Well, first we're doing the, uh, the global variable and we're calling all that information in that line of information that has the, um, the temperature and the Celsius and the, uh, humidity and then the percentage sign. We're pulling all that into that variable. Then what we're doing is we are splitting it apart and we are putting it into the global list that we started right here. And right here, split text at, right there, there's that symbol. That is how we are dividing everything. Now I have, um, well the first one here, this would be the temperature and then this one would be the humidity, but if you had more sensor readings, you just add more of these, these um, the value one, the value two. Actually, that's um, in the uh, designer here, that's my label. So what we're doing is we're setting the display, mm, excuse me, we're setting the display to show that there. And then we're pulling from that list that we made, the global list, well, the first one is in position one, then the next one's in position two. Then if you had more, well, you'd have a three, four, five. That's why I said you could have as many readings as you want coming in, and it's all sent as one line, and then it pulls in, and when the clock timer fires, it splits it all apart and puts it where it needs to go. Then after that, what we're doing is we're just clearing out the, uh, the lists. Um, we're just making the um, the uh, the input global input here. We're setting that there's nothing in it, so we're putting that at you know zero, nada, nothing, and then the global list we're setting that is making it zero, so nothing's in there, and actually putting it at the uh, putting it back at the beginning. All right, that's all there is to it. Uh, I hope this made sense to you. Uh, I will have a copy of these blocks on the website, so if you want to take and uh, put this together yourself, um, you'll have to look at it. I'm not going to make the, um, the AIA file available. If I, I think if you want to do a modified version of this, it's going to do you much better to actually go through and put this all in yourself because you're going to learn more that way. But uh, if you just want to try this out, the APK, the actual finished app, I will have that on the website. Uh, you can go there and you can download it and you can try this with the DHT11 sensor and uh, have fun with it. Otherwise, um, up here, what we're doing is we just I'm doing a virtual screen. So once you click the connect, uh, it makes that disappear and then brings up the disconnect and then shows all the the labels and all that stuff so if you're interested in more how to do that Don just uh, check out my other videos I actually have one on doing virtual screens it's called with MIT App Inventor and uh, it'll go through how all this works so all right well I hope you found this information useful if you did please give me a thumbs up um, with that I think we're just gonna wrap this up then so I hope you have a great day and remember, have fun building.